Hey guys, James Reeves with TFB TV. We are at the Arms Corps Rock Island Armory Lane here at Industry Day at the Range SHOT Show 2022. Got my buddy Martin with me. Martin has a new gun, a new firearm from Rock Island Armory because it's not a shotgun. Am I, am I right? No, it's, it's not, not a shotgun, shotgun. Not a pistol, not a rifle, not a revolver, obviously. This is a firearm. It identifies as a firearm. That's right. I don't know why. <laughs> don't ask me what ATF's thinking, but you know. Uh, but it's a 12 gauge. It is a 12 gauge. Uh, so what I'd like to actually start off with is really um, why is it a firearm? Well, one, it's not importable. But this gives me an opportunity to do something that I've wanted to do for many, many years, which is open a factory in the United States. So uh, I don't know if your viewers know that I am Filipino, uh, but I like creating jobs in the United States. We've been growing and growing here. Our factory in Montana has been producing tons and tons of ammo, and we've been hiring people. Uh, our warehousing, everything here has been doing great. But opening up a factory, manufacturing firearms in the United States, it was my goal. So we started in Pahrump, and uh, we had a 5,000 square foot warehouse. Now we're moving to Cedar City, Utah, and the state of Utah has been so fantastic. Um, our goal is to hire between 150 and 200 Americans um, within the next five to six years, and it's going to be fantastic. And we are going to make products like this with a firearm, 14 inch barrel, 26 inch overall length, mag fed. You can see this one here with the uh, nine rounder put the 19 round but it comes with a five round magazine and is uh, 12 gauge it's a monster to shoot but you know having it in your house look this one's got a flashlight on it you could put a little grip on it um, you know get the sling everything um, and when you buy it you probably see a couple other features you could probably do that I can't even talk about on the uh, Kind of oh, sure, sure. <laughs> right, I understand that. Talk to me about the magazine. Any magazine compatibility or is it proprietary? Yeah, so our, our, our whole VR, our VR series, the VR80s, the uh, VR60s, VR100s, um, they all use the same magazine, uh, the VRPA40s. So we got tons of these magazines and we go up to 19 rounds on our mags. But I know there's some aftermarket guys that are doing 25 round drums as well. So can you imagine this thing with a 25 round drum magazine? <laughs> oh my God, yeah, it'd be an absolute beast. But how much does one of the mags cost me? Uh, it all depends. Uh, I think the 19 rounders, uh, I think retail, full retail, 99 bucks, but they're always on sale on our website. And then, uh, uh, it goes down from there. I think 39 for the nine rounders and stuff like that. And this is a gas operated semi automatic, yes. right? Yes, it is. So it's basically our VR60 um, uh, operating system that we're manufacturing here in the United States. Okay, and be more specific for our viewers out there who might not be familiar with that system. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, basically just gas operated shotgun. It's much like, uh, like a Benelli. Mm -hmm. that, that's, I guess for those who've been in the shocker world, Benelli's the probably the closest thing we got to this. Okay, and if I uh, wanted to put like a brace or a buttstock, that seems like that's not going to happen for this, right? I can't legally tell you what you can and can't do as an end user, mm -hmm. but I can tell you that this pops right off. But, uh... <laughs> I see. I see this little the sling loop in the back. I mean, hypothetically, if you need to remove it for maintenance or what have absolutely, you, absolutely, you could just pop that right off, and absolutely. it's actually and it doesn't need to be there for the gun to function. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, I see. I see exactly what you mean yes. then. So, um, it, 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 it's a great gun. I mean, it's really meant for home defense. I mean, you're not going to take this out and shoot an Ipsic match with it, you know. It's not a hunting gun. It's really a home defense shotgun. So it gives you the rounds that you need, uh, the, the compact size to be able to move around your house or your apartment, and you know, just gives you that firepower. And it looks like AR-15 style controls, like the magazine release and the bolt release look well, like they're from exactly an AR. exactly the same. I mean, it's uh, an AR, AR type firearm. Which makes sense because, I mean, Americans, it's a very popular platform, and they're going to be familiar with the manual of arms. And, and, and it's fun to shoot, actually, you know. And, and how much is it going to cost, so and when can I get it? You can get it anytime. We're producing it in Pahrump right now. Um, we're a little slow. I, I, we're doing about 30 to 40 a day. 
uh, average right now. But once we move to Cedar, we're going to go up to about 200, 250 a day, um, and then move to our next project. Uh, that, and that's what Cedar City's for. I guess this is just the first the platform that we're using. The rest is um, the unimportables like pocket pistols, uh, other types of firearms. So you'll be seeing a lot of cool stuff coming out of Cedar City. And you know what? I'd love to invite you when we do our grand opening on June 8th. Oh, dude, I'm there. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna we'll show you everything. It's gonna be. I mean, we're gonna have about 15 or 16 machines already in there. We've got the Sarah coating booth already in there. The laser markers, stuff like that. But um, that place is gonna grow so quick that. Uh, four or five years from there, we're gonna to have to move. I mean, we have everything lined up. Uh, our five-year plan is to produce 100,000 guns a year out of that facility within five years and then grow it to a million. Martin, that's amazing, but the truth of the matter is, I get fired from TFB TV if you don't tell me how much this thing costs. Oh, sorry, uh, 499 MSRP, if I'm mistaken. Oh, 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 I was expecting more than that. So oh, no, 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 no. One thing you'll always get from me is the best possible product at the best possible price. Uh, and that's my, always my promise. I always want to cater to the 80% that have 500 bucks in their credit card. Uh, I, 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 my dad paid me nothing when I first started, and I love guns. So anything that was under 500 bucks, somehow I could fit into my credit card, I would buy it. And that's the way I look at it. Most people are like me when I was growing up. Uh, Obviously, I can buy a lot more stuff now, you know. Uh, it's different being the president, but when you're a lowly sales guy, 500 bucks was a lot of money. So that's my goal. That's why, like, the GI pistol, all the 1911s, when they first came out, everything was sub 500 bucks. I was prideful to say, hey, if you've got 500 bucks, I'm going to give you a great gun. Martin, thanks as usual for being on the program. Guys, thanks as usual for watching. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more SHOT Show 2022. Take care.